It is not God. You have to say to yourself, that is not the Lord. And once you know it's not him, then you can start doing the fighting. Amen. Look what it says here, verse 8. It says, he that committed sin is of the devil. This is verse 8. For the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that he might what? Destroy the works. Jesus was manifested to destroy the works of the enemy. Oh, man, that's, that's beautiful. He's there to destroy the works of the enemy. Go with me to the book of Acts. Some of y'all are familiar with this particular passage. I, I sometimes say this in church, or I'll kind of uh, uh, paraphrase this or quote it from time to time when I get into these particular pieces, because, you know, how many, how many did they know that, that if you go to Luke, if you go to Luke 4, there's a passage in Luke 4 where Jesus, he came, you know, of course, he came out of being tempted. He's preaching the kingdom of God, and he's at the temple. And the Bible says, and there was handed to him the book of Isaiah. Right? And, you know, he read Isaiah 61. How I many know this? And Jesus says, how many, how many believe you're, you're, you're the temple of the Holy Ghost? Right? You're anointed then. You have the unction. You're walking in the ability of God. So, so, so Jesus says, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, the recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Listen, do you know that's, that anointing didn't change because it was Jesus? The same anointing on him is the same anointing on you. That's what we do. That's what we do. We push back against sickness. That's what we do. That's our life. That's what we do. That's how healing takes place. Because when people begin to say, this is the mandate of God. This is the will of the Lord. The kingdom of heaven always pushes back against sickness. It always does. It has always done. If you look at the life of Jesus, that's all he was doing. In fact, let me read this. Because I say that's all he was doing. I just want you to hear it for yourself. Deliver to us faithfully. Deliver to us faithfully. Look what it says. Uh, uh, Acts 10, 38 says, I love this. I love this. He says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, right? We know that, right? I just quoted that Luke 4 the, 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 from Isaiah, right? He says, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and what? Mm -mm -mm, with power. Who went, around, who went about doing what? And, and what? Healing all, all that were oppressed. There we go. He's healing all that were, what? Jesus saw sickness as somebody being oppressed. And, and listen, brother and sister, if, if you don't see that in other people,